Look at how Trump fixed this country. I just had Jason Riley on. He's the, the brilliant black writer yep. for the Wall Street Journal. Yep. And he writes, he wrote this book, The Black Boom. And the guy can't stand Trump, but he also loves truth more than he can stand Trump. So he writes a book about how good the economy was for blacks, unprecedentedly good. But do people care? No, they don't care. The people who claim to care for, about blacks voted for Biden, who's ruining things for blacks and for whites and Hispanics and everybody else. The, the, the man is a bad man and a disaster, the worst human being to ever be elected president, in my opinion, as a human being. I think Trump is saintly compared to, uh, to Biden. So uh, this is what, they, they, there is no memory. That is, that's the long answer to your short question. There is no memory. People don't remember what the left did. They don't remember. Listen, the, Stalin is popular in Russia. The man who murdered 20 to 40 million Russians or, and Ukrainians, Soviet citizens, is popular in Russia. Mao is popular in China. He killed 60 million Chinese. Now, for every one of those whom he killed, think of the, the ripple effect of the people whose lives were ruined because of that death. And he's popular. His picture is ubiquitous in China. People don't remember left-wing evil. They only remember right-wing evil. <laughs> Uh, this is what I went on a crazy rant on my show this morning, and I don't do the rant that often, right? I'm a pretty measured guy. But what do we do to the people that got us here and the people that are still dragging us into these seemingly endless, uh, this endless pit of hell? The Kathy Hochul in New York, the Eric Garcetti who holds his breath when he takes pictures, uh, Gavin Newsom, you, you know all the people, the people who are still doing it uh, despite no scientific evidence. Do we need to have some kind of Nuremberg trials? What, I mean, should they be just banned from public office? Like, what would a healthy society do? And I guess I mean this not only at a political level, but for you also at a either philosophical or a spiritual level, it doesn't seem to me that if we're ever gonna really heal from this thing, we can just move past it. Like, we're, we're in the phase now where we're moving past it because the Democrats are realizing they're gonna get crushed in the midterms. We need to remember what these people did. What, sh what would a healthy society do uh, in this greatest mistake of all time, as you right. described by, it? By the way, you, uh, you hit the nail on the head with your line, your penultimate line of we need to remember. So I was saying on my radio show today, because there's a big recall for G George Gascon, yeah. the, ev the evil, evil moron who is the uh, evil fool not moron, uh, who was the district attorney. And the recall campaign against him last year failed. In L.A., in L.A. In L.A., he's the district attorney. He's just like the one in, uh, in Philadelphia, San Francisco. These are the George Soros-funded people whose uh, sole agenda is to increase murder uh, in the cities in which they work. That is their, that is their agenda. I, I truly believe that, by the way. Now, if you said to them, do you want to increase murder? They would say, no, we want to decrease the imprisoned. But they're the same thing, okay? They're, they're, it's, it, it, it's, it's like uh, you can't have hot snow. You can't have less imprisonment and less murder. It, it's just, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, adults, uh, actually you don't have to be an adult, a five-year-old would understand that. Be before they go to college, they understand a lot more about life. So I said, it's interesting, they probably will recall Gascon now because of the murder rate in Los Angeles. And this is what people do. They elect the left, this is the history of Latin America, for example. They elect the left, the left destroys their freedoms, their country, and their economy. And then they put the right in power, which fixes things up to a certain degree or, or more than a certain degree. And then they think, ah, we need more equity. And then they reelect the left, and it's all a cycle. People will not remember what the left did to destroy this country uh, two years after uh, the, 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 
uh, the right fixes it up. Look at how Trump fixed this country. I just had Jason Riley on. He's the, the brilliant black writer yep. for the Wall Street Journal. Yep. And he writes, he wrote this book, The Black Boom. And the guy can't stand Trump. But he also loves truth more than he can stand Trump. So he writes a book about how good the economy was for blacks. Unprecedentedly good. But do people care? No, they don't care. The people who claim to care for, about blacks voted for Biden, who's ruining things for blacks and for whites and Hispanics and everybody else. The, the, the man is a bad man and a disaster, the worst human being to ever be elected president, in my opinion, as a human being. I think Trump is saintly compared to, uh, to Biden. So uh, this is what they, they, there is no memory. That is that's the long answer to your short question. There is no memory. People don't remember what the left did. They don't remember. Listen, the, Stalin is popular in Russia. The man who murdered 20 to 40 million Russians or and Ukrainians, Soviet citizens, is popular in Russia. Mao is popular in China. He killed 60 million Chinese. Now, for every one of those whom he killed, think of the, the ripple effect of the people whose lives were ruined because of that death. And he's popular. His picture is ubiquitous in China. People don't remember left-wing evil. They only remember right-wing evil. So, so if we accept that, and I do, I accept that people don't remember, and I accept that these things are cyclical, and the left ruins things, and then the right fixes it. You know, I come from New York. They're in New York City. David Dinkins right. demolished progressive lefty, demolished New York City. Who had to fix it? Scary Rudy Giuliani. Uh, scary in air quotes, obviously. Um, but okay. But putting aside the, that, that we accept that. What could, in your perfect world, what would we do to, to break that cycle? I mean, what, what would a healthy society, not what we're in right now, what would a healthy society do so that we would not forget, so we could break that cycle? There are many answers to that question, Dave. First, first uh, the first thing that came to my mind, it may not be the first thing to do, but the first thing that came to my mind is take your kids out of school, homeschool your children. Uh, that That is the greatest single good I can think of to demolish the evil that the left has become. And uh, the, the, because the roots of it are all in education. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I, for all of my career, I have had this line, Dave. <laughs> I'll take a call and somebody will say something I consider particularly stupid. And I will then say, in my deadpan manner, sir, I, I'm just curious, what college did you go to? And, you know, I've really set him up because he'll then say, what makes you say I went to college? Which prepares me for my prepared line. And that is because only someone who went to college <laughs> would say something that stupid. And the, the only exception to that is graduate school. You become even more stupid. Do you know that uh, the New York Times even published... Uh, that uh, with graduate school, then I'll come back to what we can do. Yeah. In graduate school, as you get more educated, you are more fearful of COVID. In other words, everything yeah. what, what, about what more schooling. Yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah, how much more info do you need? It, 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 the proof is in the pudding. They make people the afraid of The proof is everything. in the pudding. That's yeah. right. A a every awful thing increases as you get more educated. Now, not real educated. I, yeah. I'm crazy about education. Um, I, but if, if you love education, you must hate most of American schools. So the first thing I think about what to do, take your kids out of the schools. That defunds the schools, not defund the police, defund the schools, take the money and give it to parents to do what they want with it to educate their children. So that, that was one. Uh, so you, but you're really asking if I have it correctly is what do we do about the bad guys? Yeah, the people Frankly, who have done yes. this and All continue right. to do it. Cor correct. Uh, uh, I, am, I am only interested in defeating them, not punishing them. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about politics instead of nonstop yelling, check out our politics playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.